Welcome back, aspiring entrepreneurs. Yes, I failed three businesses because I don't know the difference between marketing and branding. Have you ever wondered what makes brands like Nike and Apple so iconic? Or personalities like Iman Genji and Drew Tick so popular? So in this video, I want you to succeed. So I'm going to share with you the knowledge that I didn't have that cost me tens and hundreds of thousands. So let's get started. First off, people often get confused with marketing and branding, but there is a big difference between them. Branding, what is branding? Branding is like the essence, the soul of your business. It's what your business promises to deliver to your customers, not just in products or services, but in experiences, emotions, and connections. Branding encompasses your unique identity, what sets you apart in the marketplace, and the perception people have of your brand. It's like the internal DNA, your brand's mission, vision, values, and the emotions it evokes in your audience. For example, Apple's branding goes beyond just selling tech products. It sells an experience, a lifestyle. Their branding is about innovation, simplicity, and elegance, which is consistently reflected in their product design, user interface, and customer service. So what is marketing then? If marketing were a person, it would be like the one friend who never whispers. They always have a megaphone who shouts, check this out! So marketing is the voice that announces its presence to the world. Marketing involves the strategies and tactics used to promote your brand, its products and services. It's the way your brand communicates, engages and builds relationships with your audience. Marketing is dynamic, adapting to trends, technologies and customer preferences. For example, marketing is evident in how Apple presents its product in commercials, the buzz it creates on social media and the experiences it curates in Apple stores. It is the orchestrated effort that ensures the brand's message is seen, heard, and felt by the audience. So now you know the difference between marketing and branding. Which one comes first? So in the interplay between branding and marketing, it's clear that branding must, must come first. Your brand is the foundation, the essence of what you are. Marketing is the strategy of how you express and communicate that essence to the world. Together, they create a powerful synergy that can bring your business to new heights. Now, let's talk about how to build a brand. The structure of the brand. Picture an iceberg. What you see above the water is just the tip of the intricate world of branding. Below, there's a robust structure supporting it. Let's explore these layers, starting from internal branding beneath the surface to external branding that the world sees. Internal branding. Internal blending is the foundation, is the submerged part of the iceberg. Not immediately visible, but critical for stability and direction. It's the internal dialogue within your organization, shaping your brand's purpose, vision, mission, and values. This is where you align your brand's internal narratives with the perceptions that you want your audience to have. Segments under internal branding should be internal communication. Discussing your brand's purpose, vision, and mission you take to actualize that vision. This stage is about aligning your team's understanding and efforts with your brand's core objective. Next up, brand positioning. Understanding your audience and competitors is crucial. This step helps you cave out a unique position in the market, ensuring your brand stand out from highlighting your unique selling proposition. Next, brand personality. Just as individuals have distinct personalities, your brands should too. This phase involves defining the character and persona your brand embodies, making it relatable and memorable to your audience. Next, external branding. External branding is how your brand is expressed and perceived in the market. It's the visible and tangible elements that people interact with your brand's voice, message, name, tagline, and design. This is where you translate your internal branding into compelling narrative that captivates your audience 
forging strong connections and memorable experiences. Segments under external branding are brand message. The story you tell, not about your brand, but from the perspective of how it enriches your customer's life. Brand name and tagline. The identifiers that capture the essence of your brand in a few powerful words. Next, brand design. The visual elements, colors, fonts, logo that create a distinct, recognizable image for your brand. Now, you have understood the importance between branding and marketing. Share your thoughts in the comment below. How do you envision integrating branding and marketing strategies in your business? By the time you are watching this, I believe I have published four different videos to explain each of the factors of the branding in details. I will give you examples and recommendations to use in your business to build a successful brand in 2024. I will include everything in the description below. And this is all for today's video. Thank you all for staying to the end and kindly like this video if you have learned anything from it and comment any questions you have. Have a nice day ahead. See you next time.